Greetings. So this week, many people in the United States will participate in the American national holiday called Thanksgiving and, uh, you know, meet up with family and have participate in these large feasts. Uh, in my own case, I grew up in New York, and although my father's family wasn't from the United States, he attended uh, Thanksgiving meals, and so I went along with him. And uh, as a result, I grew up having many positive experiences during those gatherings, and now that I'm an adult, my own family continues to part- participate unto this very day. In fact, uh, this Thursday, we'll be uh, having a meal with family. These days, however, there are folks who will insist that participation in in a Thanksgiving meal is necessarily something sinister. Uh, Some argue that Thanksgiving celebrates genocide committed by English pilgrims against Native Americans. Now, this line of argument is rooted in the fact that American legend associates Thanksgiving with the pilgrims, with the English pilgrims, and thus those who feel more negatively about Thanksgiving conflate the feast with all the horrors of English colonialism in North America. Personally, I find such reasoning to be problematic, and for that reason, I wanted to make this quick video to offer a bit more nuanced view on the subject. First, I'd like to note something which appears in Melanie Kirkpatrick's book, Thanksgiving, the Holiday at the Heart of the American Experience. On uh, page 15, Kirkpatrick notes that in the 1600s, People were holding uh, Thanksgiving feasts around the harvest time. The implication seems to be that these feasts predate what is popularly popularly bandied about as, quote-unquote, the first American Thanksgiving. Now, that book aside, there's actually considerable discussion in print about when the first Thanksgiving feast in North America took place, with several different parties giving dates which predate the arrival of the English pilgrims. For example, a 2008 article in the New York Times titled The French Connection uh, argued that French Huguenots arrived a half century before the Mayflower Pilgrims and held their own Thanksgiving in the 1560s. Meanwhile, the historian Larry Schweichart is among many who claim that the first Thanksgiving in North America was held by the Spanish in the 1540s. Uh, At this point, the fact that Thanksgiving feasts were being held before the arrival of the English pilgrims should be a loud clue that Thanksgiving cannot just be waved off as some sort of celebration of pilgrims slaughtering indigenous persons in what is now New England. To go deeper, I'd like to turn to Hans Christoph Grossmann's book, Offener Himmel Weiter Raum. It's worth noting that this is a German work, and thus this book is far removed from the controversies of American history. Uh, On page 224, Grossmann states the following, In der Kirche ist ein Erntedankfest seit dem dritten Jahrhundert belegt. The translation of that statement would be, quote, In the church, there has been an Erntedankfest since the third century. Now, I deliberately left the word Erntedankfest untranslated to raise this question. What does Erntedankfest mean? Well, Ernte means harvest, Dank means thanks, and Fest means feast or festival. In other words, Teutonic Christians have held harvest time Thanksgiving feasts since ancient times. These feasts predate European contact with the indigenous peoples of the Americas by many centuries, if not more than a millennium. To add another detail to this point, I'd like to turn to something written by Dennis Zotig from the uh, Smithsonian's National Museum of the American Indian. Zotig wrote a blog entry titled, Do American Indians Celebrate Thanksgiving?, which objects to how hurtful national myths and legends about pilgrims and Native Americans can be, as well as the dark history that postdated uh, what's purportedly the first Thanksgiving. However, in the midst of the article he or blog entry, he made a particularly interesting statement, which I'm going to scroll down to now. I'll highlight it here. So Zotich writes, quote, The pilgrims did not introduce the concept of Thanksgiving. The New England tribes already had autumn harvest feasts of Thanksgiving. End quote. This brings us to the most salient point of this topic. 
Thanksgiving does not begin with the horrors of European colonization of the Americas, as harvest time Thanksgiving feasts existed amongst both Europeans and indigenous tribes in the Western Hemisphere before they came into contact with each other. Consider an analogy. Imagine someone noted that many Chinese government officials celebrate the Chinese Lunar New Year, and some Chinese government officials may have mistreated Tibetans or Uyghurs. Then imagine that same person leaping from those points to the conclusion that Chinese New Year is therefore a celebration of the oppression of Tibetans and Uyghurs. Such a conclusion is easy to reject because Chinese New Year long predates modern controversies between the Chinese government and Tibetans or Uyghurs. Similarly, the true roots of Thanksgiving long predate acts of brutality perpetrated by certain Europeans in the Americas and thus cannot be a celebration of those atrocities. On that note, I look forward to any comments others might have. Stay tuned for future videos as I'm actually hoping to do a fun video on uh, Christmas trees in the coming weeks. In the meantime, I hope those who participate in Thanksgiving feasts this week have a happy Thanksgiving. God bless.